They do want them to win fast. Wouldn't it be nice if they could win fast? And we have to let them win fast. We will restore stability and peace to the Middle East, and we will be sure that it will be peace through strength. You know, we had peace through strength. We had, as you know, Viktor Orban, who's the Prime Minister of Hungary, a very strong person. And they asked him a few months ago, why is it that the world is breaking out? You have October 7th, you have Israel, you have Russia. The whole Middle East looks like it's going to blow up. Europe looks like it's going to blow up. The whole world is going to blow up, and China's flying its bombers all over Taiwan. And he said, it's very simple. President Trump is not there. The only way we're going to solve it is President Trump has to be there. Now, he said something that I wouldn't say. He said they were petrified. They were scared of President Trump. They didn't know what the hell he was going to do. They're not afraid of anybody else. So I wouldn't use that word, but they did have respect for me. I knew them all, and they're tough. And they're sharp, and they're at the top of their game, unlike our people. They're at the top of their game. But it was something that he said. He said that it would never happen if Trump were there. They said, how would you solve the problem? He said, if President Trump wins the election, it'll all be solved very quickly. It's true. I feel it's true. I mean, I know, I know what we're doing. To our enemies around the world, we want our hostages back, and they better be back before I assume office. Too bad. Too bad. Too bad, because so many, so many are gone. You know that. I think most of the people in this room, I, I watch some of the uh, mothers in Israel saying, well, my son, my son, but I haven't heard, you know, in two years. They have no idea. Uh, they're not going to get a good answer. You understand that. It's a very, very bad situation. In the wake of the October 7th attacks, we've also seen the scourge of anti-Semitism rearing its head right here at home. And you've seen that loud and clear. Jews have been beaten and bear-maced. You know what bear-maced is? On their way to a synagogue in Los Angeles. Nobody's seen anything like this. It's just go what's going on now is exactly what was going on before the Holocaust. Exactly. Jewish-American businesses have been vandalized and We've heard chants of death to Israel and death to America, and we've seen the prominent liberals repeat genocidal slogans, from the river to the sea. That's not a good slogan. People thought, oh, what does that mean? Uh, that is not a good slogan. That's a really bad slogan. Instead of aggressively confronting these venomous anti-Semites in her party, Kamala Harris has maneuvered for their support. She said the radical demonstrators on college campuses were, quote, showing a human emotion. Oh, that's wonderful, isn't it? Human emotion. When a mob of terror supporters in Washington, D.C., tore down the American flag in front of the Union Station last month, set it on fire, and hoisted the Palestinian flag while assaulting police officers and spray-painting magnificent works of art, saying, Hamas is coming. On a public monument, the Harris-Biden administration dropped all charges against almost every single one of them. I think every single one, but almost every single one of them. You know, when you spray paint over these magnificent these magnificent uh, works of art, and you spray paint red paint on limestone, it never I'm What I was best at is building. I was a good... When you hit limestone, you know, it's very porous stone, beautiful stone, but very porous. Uh, you'll see that in a hundred years, you're going to see that. It goes deep into it. You're never going to take it out. And nothing happened to them. Kamala has long embraced the extremists in her party because she's one of them. She's an extremist, not a smart one. She's not a smart person, but uh, she's an extremist. She defended the infamous anti-Semite Ilhan Omar, beautiful person and fought to keep her on the powerful Foreign Affairs Committee. I mean, she's on the Foreign Affairs Committee, which is — and every — all these other guys are afraid to act because of it. When a college student accused Israel of ethnic genocide, Kamala said that she was glad that the student made that comment. She was very happy that the student — she actually said this. Now, she'll be denying everything, although I don't think she will, because they do have big numbers, you know. They probably have bigger numbers than, than uh, you have, we have. Likewise, her running mate, Tim Walsh, he's worse. He's, well, he's bad. Not as bad as her. 
has praised a Hitler-supporting radical Muslim Iman named Azad Zeman, calling him a master teacher. He's a master teacher. He knew him for a long time. He's a master teacher. If Kamala Harris and Tim Waltz are elected, the radical left flag burners and Hamas sympathizers will not just be causing chaos on our streets. They'll be running U.S. foreign policy in the White House, and Israel will be gone. It will, go, it will be gone. I never thought I'd say that a year ago, even two years ago. I never thought I'd say it. But uh, Israel will be gone, I believe. And remember, everything Trump said was right. Do you ever see the sign? Everything I said was right. I actually think it's true. I've, uh, it's common sense. You know, we have the party of common sense, right? We have you talk about it. We have, it's the party of common sense. It's going to be gone. These people hate Israel. They hate, they assume they hate Jewish people, but they hate Israel. And uh, I think it will, it will be gone. They're very, it's very fragile right now. You know, they're, fronting, they're fighting on now three fronts. It started off on one front, but they don't have enough people to fight on all three. And then you see these vast army of millions of people with hundreds of billions of dollars of cash in the bank, and they go out and hire soldiers of fortune on top of everyone they have. That's, you can't fight that very easily. We must not let any of that happen. You must vote this November. If Kamala wins, terrorist armies will wage an unceasing war to drive Jews out of the Holy Land. They will do that. Iran and its proxies will spread bloodshed and death all around the globe. And as she continues to set the world on fire, and I understand her well. I've seen her well. I've studied her now. I have to study her because, unfortunately, by winning the debate so decisively, he got out. A friend of mine said, you did a horrible job. What? He said, well, actually, you did so well that there's no way he's going to be able to survive that shellacking. And I said, you know, I called him up last week. I said, you are right. But we should do just as well against this one and better, maybe, in certain ways, because you know, we have to define her. We, let, we have to let people know. You have to let people know because she's, uh, she failed to bar exams immediately. Maybe, did anybody in the room fail their bar exam? I know Jason did, Jason Greenblatt did. I know that. But Kamala Harris will support unlimited migration from terrorist hotbeds into the United States. When I'm president, we will deport the foreign jihad sympathizers and we will deport them very quickly and Hamas supporters <laughs> will be gone. If you hate America, if you want to eliminate Israel, then we don't want you in our country. We really don't want you in our country. I will ban refugee settlements from terror-infested areas like the Gaza Strip, and we will arrest the pro-Hamas thugs who vandalize federal property and make really life very, very difficult in this country for a lot of people. I will put every single college president on notice. So we just lost another one today from Columbia. How weak, how pathetic are these people? How weak are they? Can you imagine these people running these colleges and they, they're afraid to say anything even slightly negative to these groups that want death? The American taxpayer will not subsidize the creation of terrorist sympathizers on American soil. It won't happen. Colleges will end the anti-Semitic propaganda, or they will lose their accreditation and every single last penny of federal support. You'll see how nice they'll be. You'll see, you know, they'll be so, they'll change their ways very quickly, but it's not probably from the heart. That's the problem. They may change their ways, but not from the heart. They're changing it because that's brutal but they're not going to change it from the heart, I suspect. As your president, I will once again stand with the state of Israel. I will protect American Jewish community. I will put America first. I will keep America safe. And I will defend Judeo-Christian civilization from the barbarian savages and the left-wing extremists who want to destroy it. Together, we will confront the forces of anti-Semitism and we will win, win, win. Thank you, God bless you, and God bless America. Save Israel, right? Save Israel.